Hello, I'm Dr. Bradford Harrison, and I appreciate you taking the time to come in today to discuss the basic STI examination. Before we begin, I want to commend you for prioritizing your sexual health and taking proactive steps to understand your potential risks and exposure to various sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. This examination is designed to provide you with a comprehensive assessment of your sexual health, and I will be guiding you through the process in detail to ensure that you have a clear understanding of what to expect and how the results can benefit you. First, let's discuss the importance of sexual health in the broader context of overall well-being. Sexual health is an integral component of physical, emotional, and mental health, and it encompasses a wide range of factors, including sexual behavior, relationships, and access to accurate information and resources. Despite its significance, sexual health is often stigmatized or overlooked, leading many individuals to feel uncomfortable or ashamed when discussing their concerns or seeking care. It's crucial to recognize that there is no shame in prioritizing your sexual health and that seeking information and support is a sign of strength and self-empowerment. One of the key reasons why the basic STI examination is such a valuable tool is that it provides a confidential and non-judgmental space for individuals to explore their sexual health risks and concerns. Many people may feel hesitant to discuss their sexual history or symptoms with their regular health care provider, fearing judgment or embarrassment. This examination offers a safe and supportive environment where you can share your experiences and concerns openly without fear of stigma or discrimination. By fostering a sense of trust and understanding, we aim to create a foundation for honest and productive conversations about sexual health. Another important aspect of the basic STI examination is its comprehensive nature. Rather than focusing on a single STI or symptom, this assessment takes a holistic approach to evaluating your sexual health risks. The examination covers a wide range of STIs, including chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, HPV, syphilis, trichomoniasis, HIV, and hepatitis B and C. By considering this broad spectrum of infections, we can provide you with a more complete picture of your potential risks and help you prioritize which areas may require further attention or testing. In addition to assessing your risk for specific STIs, the basic STI examination also takes into account a variety of factors that can influence your overall sexual health. These factors include your sexual history, number of partners, types of sexual activities, frequency of condom use or other barrier methods, previous STI diagnoses or treatments, and any current symptoms you may be experiencing. By gathering this information through a confidential questionnaire, we can begin to build a more nuanced understanding of your unique risk profile and tailor our recommendations accordingly. One of the key benefits of this comprehensive approach is that it can help uncover potential risks or concerns that you may not have been aware of previously. For example, many people may not realize that certain sexual practices such as oral sex or anal sex can still transmit STIs even if no penetrative intercourse occurs. Similarly, some individuals may not be aware that STIs can be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact, even if no visible symptoms are present. By exploring these various modes of transmission and risk factors, the basic STI examination can help fill in knowledge gaps and provide you with a more complete understanding of how to protect your sexual health. Another important aspect of the basic STI examination is its emphasis on education and empowerment. Rather than simply providing you with a list of potential risks or diagnoses, this assessment aims to equip you with the knowledge and resources you need to make informed decisions about your sexual health. This includes access to educational materials on STI prevention, transmission, testing, and treatment, as well as information on safer sex practices and communication strategies for discussing sexual health with partners. By empowering you with accurate and up-to-date information, we hope to help you feel more confident and in control of your sexual well-being. It's important to note that the basic STI examination is not a one-time event, but rather a starting point for ongoing conversations and care related to your sexual health. The insights and recommendations provided through this assessment are intended to serve as a foundation for further discussion and action, whether that involves scheduling regular STI testing, exploring treatment options for any identified concerns, or simply feeling more comfortable and confident in your ability to navigate sexual health issues. Now that we've discussed the importance and scope of the basic STI examination, let's delve into the specific components of the assessment and how they work together to provide you with a comprehensive picture of your sexual health risks. 
The cornerstone of the basic STI examination is the confidential questionnaire, which you will complete as the first step in the assessment process. This questionnaire is designed to gather essential information about your sexual history, behaviors, and any relevant symptoms you may be experiencing. It's important to approach this questionnaire with a sense of openness and honesty, as the accuracy of your personalized risk assessment depends on the completeness and truthfulness of your responses. One of the key aspects of the questionnaire is its focus on your sexual history and partnerships. You will be asked to provide information about the number of sexual partners you have had, both in the recent past and over the course of your lifetime. This information is crucial because having multiple sexual partners can increase your risk of exposure to STIs, particularly if you have engaged in unprotected sexual activity. It's important to note that this increased risk applies to all types of sexual activity, including vaginal, anal, and oral sex, as well as genital-to-genital -genital contact. In addition to the number of partners, the questionnaire will also inquire about the types of sexual activities you have engaged in. This information is significant because different sexual practices carry different levels of risk for STI transmission. For example, anal sex carries a higher risk of transmitting infections such as HIV and hepatitis, B and C compared to vaginal sex due to the delicate nature of the rectal tissue and the potential for microscopic tears that can facilitate the exchange of bodily fluids. Similarly, oral sex, while generally considered lower risk than penetrative sex, can still transmit infections such as herpes, gonorrhea, and syphilis. Another critical component of the questionnaire is its assessment of your use of protective barriers, such as condoms or dental dams, during sexual activity. Consistent and correct use of these barriers can significantly reduce the risk of STI transmission by creating a physical barrier between partners and limiting the exchange of bodily fluids. However, it's important to recognize that while condoms and dental dams are highly effective at reducing risk, they are not foolproof. Factors such as improper use, breakage, or slippage can compromise their protective benefits, which is why it's essential to use them consistently and correctly every time you engage in sexual activity. The questionnaire will also ask about any previous STI diagnoses or treatments you may have received. This information is vital because having a history of STIs can increase your risk of future infections, particularly if you have not completed the recommended course of treatment or if you have engaged in unprotected sexual activity since your last diagnosis. Additionally, some STIs, such as herpes and HPV, can remain dormant in the body for extended periods and may not always present with visible symptoms, which is why it's crucial to disclose any past diagnoses to your healthcare provider. In addition to your sexual history and behaviors, the questionnaire will inquire about any current symptoms you may be experiencing, such as unusual discharge, sores, or pain in the genital area. While the presence of symptoms can be a strong indicator of an active STI, it's important to remember that many STIs can be asymptomatic, meaning they may not produce any noticeable signs or symptoms. This is one of the reasons why regular STI testing is so essential, even if you feel healthy and have no apparent concerns. Once you have completed the confidential questionnaire, your responses will be analyzed by our advanced algorithm which is designed to identify potential risk factors and assess your overall likelihood of STI exposure. This algorithm takes into account a wide range of variables, including your sexual history, number of partners, types of sexual activities, frequency of barrier use, previous STI diagnoses, and current symptoms, among others. By considering these factors in combination, the algorithm can provide a more nuanced and accurate assessment of your individual risk profile. One of the unique advantages of this algorithmic approach is its ability to uncover hidden patterns and correlations that may not be immediately apparent to the human eye. For example, the algorithm may identify that a particular combination of sexual practices, partner characteristics, and inconsistent barrier use is associated with a significantly higher risk of certain STIs, even if each factor alone does not raise major red flags. One of the key advantages of the basic STI examination is its accessibility and convenience. Unlike traditional STI testing, which often requires scheduling an appointment with a healthcare provider, waiting for lab results, and potentially dealing with insurance barriers or out-of-pocket costs, this assessment can be completed entirely online from the comfort and privacy of your own home. This is particularly important for individuals who may face stigma or discrimination when seeking sexual health services, such as those in the LGBTQ community or those living in rural or underserved areas.
Another unique feature of the basic STI examination is its use of advanced algorithmic analysis to provide personalized risk assessments and recommendations. Unlike generic STI screening guidelines, which may not take into account an individual's specific risk factors or behaviors, this assessment uses machine learning and data analytics to generate tailored insights based on your unique profile. This means that the recommendations you receive are not just based on broad statistical averages, but are carefully curated to address your individual needs and circumstances. In addition to providing personalized risk assessments, the basic STI examination also offers a wealth of educational resources and support services to help you navigate your sexual health journey. These resources include comprehensive guides on STI prevention, transmission, testing and treatment, as well as access to a network of sexual health experts and community forums where you can connect with others who may be facing similar challenges or concerns. By empowering you with knowledge and support, the basic STI examination aims to help you feel more confident and in control of your sexual health decisions. Another key benefit of the basic STI examination is its commitment to privacy and confidentiality. We understand that sexual health information is deeply personal and sensitive, and we take every precaution to ensure that your data is kept secure and confidential. All of the information you provide through the assessment is encrypted and stored on secure servers and is never shared with third parties without your explicit consent. Additionally, the assessment is designed to be completely anonymous, so you can feel comfortable answering questions honestly and openly without fear of judgment or repercussions. It's important to note that while the basic STI examination is a powerful tool for assessing your sexual health risks and needs, it is not a substitute for regular medical care or STI testing. The assessment is designed to supplement, not replace, the guidance and expertise of qualified health care providers. If you have specific concerns or symptoms that require immediate attention, or if you receive a high-risk assessment result, it is essential to follow up with a health care provider for further evaluation and treatment. One of the hidden insights that many people may not realize is that STI testing is not just about protecting your own health, but also about protecting the health of your partners and community. Many STIs, particularly those that are asymptomatic, can be easily spread from person to person without either party realizing it. By getting tested regularly and treating any infections promptly, you can help break the cycle of transmission and reduce the overall burden of STIs in your community. This is particularly important for individuals who have multiple partners or who engage in high-risk behaviors, as they may be more likely to acquire and transmit infections. Another key insight that the basic STI examination can provide is a better understanding of how your individual behaviors and risk factors intersect to shape your overall sexual health profile. For example, you may not realize that having a history of certain STIs, such as chlamydia or gonorrhea, can increase your risk of acquiring HIV or other infections in the future. Similarly, you may not be aware that certain lifestyle factors, such as alcohol or drug use, can impair your judgment and decision-making when it comes to sexual activity, leading to riskier behaviors and higher rates of STI transmission. Finally, it's important to recognize that sexual health is not just about the absence of disease or infection but about the overall well-being and fulfillment of your sexual life. The basic STI examination is designed to be a judgment-free, sex-positive tool that helps you explore your sexual health needs and desires in a safe and supportive environment. By providing you with personalized insights and resources, the assessment can help you make more informed and empowered decisions about your sexual health, whether that means learning how to communicate more effectively with partners, exploring new forms of sexual expression, or advocating for your own pleasure and satisfaction. As we've discussed, the basic STI examination is a comprehensive tool that can provide valuable insights into your sexual health risks and needs. However, it's important to remember that sexual health is not just about avoiding negative outcomes, but also about promoting positive ones. This means taking a holistic approach to your sexual well-being that encompasses physical, emotional, and psychological factors. One of the key areas that the basic STI examination can shed light on is the role of communication in sexual health. Many people may not realize how much their ability to communicate openly and honestly with partners can impact their sexual experiences and outcomes. For example, being able to discuss sexual boundaries, preferences, and concerns can help ensure that all parties are on the same page and can reduce the risk of misunderstandings or unintended consequences. Similarly, being able to negotiate condom use or other protective measures can help reduce the risk of STI transmission and unintended pregnancy. Another important aspect of sexual health that the basic STI examination can highlight is the role of consent and coercion. 
Consent is a fundamental principle of healthy sexual interactions and involves the active, ongoing, and voluntary agreement to engage in sexual activity. Coercion, on the other hand, involves pressuring or manipulating someone into sexual activity through force, threats, or other forms of intimidation. Understanding the difference between consent and coercion and being able to recognize and respond to coercive behaviors is essential for maintaining your own safety and well-being as well as the safety and well-being of your partners. The basic STI examination can also provide insights into the complex relationship between sexual health and mental health. Many people may not realize how much their mental and emotional state can impact their sexual experiences and behaviors. For example, conditions like depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, can all affect sexual desire, arousal, and satisfaction, as well as increase the risk of engaging in high-risk sexual behaviors. Similarly, experiencing sexual trauma or abuse can have long-lasting effects on an individual's sexual health and well-being and may require specialized care and support to address. Another hidden insight that the basic STI examination can reveal is the role of social and cultural factors in shaping sexual health attitudes and behaviors. Our sexual beliefs, practices, and identities are all influenced by the social and cultural contexts in which we live and can vary widely across different communities and populations. For example, some cultures may have strict taboos around discussing sex or seeking sexual health services, while others may have more open and accepting attitudes towards sexual diversity and expression. Understanding how these social and cultural factors intersect with your own experiences and identities can help you navigate the complexities of sexual health with greater awareness and resilience. The basic STI examination can also shed light on the importance of self-care and self-advocacy in maintaining sexual health. Many people may not realize how much their own behaviors and choices can impact their sexual well-being, or how to effectively communicate their needs and preferences to partners and healthcare providers. Learning how to practice good sexual hygiene, such as washing before and after sexual activity and avoiding douching or other harmful practices, can help reduce the risk of infections and irritation. Similarly, learning how to advocate for your own sexual health needs, such as requesting specific tests or treatments from healthcare providers or setting clear boundaries with partners, can help you feel more empowered and in control of your sexual experiences. Another key insight that the basic STI examination can provide is the importance of sexual health education and resources. Many people may not have received comprehensive or accurate information about sexual health growing up or may have been exposed to misinformation or stigma that can impact their attitudes and behaviors. By providing access to evidence-based, sex-positive educational resources and support services, the basic STI examination can help fill in these knowledge gaps and empower individuals to make more informed and confident sexual health decisions. Finally, it's important to recognize that sexual health is an ongoing journey, not a one-time destination. Our sexual needs, desires, and experiences can change over time and may be influenced by a wide range of factors, including age, relationships, life stages, and health conditions. The basic STI examination is designed to be a tool that you can use throughout your sexual health journey, whether you are just starting to explore your sexuality or are navigating new challenges and opportunities later in life. Now that we've explored some of the broader aspects of sexual health that the basic STI examination can illuminate, Let's dive deeper into the specific ways that this assessment can help you understand and mitigate your individual STI risks. One of the key insights that the basic STI examination can provide is a better understanding of how your sexual network can impact your STI risk. Your sexual network includes not just your direct sexual partners, but also their partners and their partners' partners and so on. Even if you have only had a few sexual partners yourself, if those partners have had multiple partners of their own, your risk of exposure to STIs can be much higher than you might realize. The basic STI examination takes this network effect into account when calculating your personalized risk assessment and can help you understand how your partner's behaviors and histories can impact your own sexual health. Another important factor that the basic STI examination considers is the timing and frequency of your sexual activities. Many people may not realize that the timing of sexual activity in relation to STI testing can have a significant impact on the accuracy of results. For example, if you have recently been exposed to an STI but get tested too soon afterwards, the infection may not yet be detectable on standard tests, leading to a false negative result. Similarly, 
If you have a history of inconsistent or infrequent STI testing, you may have undiagnosed infections that can continue to be spread to partners without your knowledge. The basic STI examination takes these timing and frequency factors into account when generating your personalized recommendations for testing and follow-up care. The basic STI examination can also provide insights into how different types of sexual activities can carry different levels of STI risk. Many people may not realize that certain sexual practices, such as anal sex or oral anal contact, can carry higher risks of STI transmission than others, even if no ejaculation occurs. This is because these activities can involve contact with areas of the body that are more susceptible to micro-tears or other forms of tissue damage, which can facilitate the transmission of infections. The basic STI examination takes these nuances into account when assessing your individual risk profile and can provide targeted recommendations for safer sex practices based on your specific behaviors and preferences. Another key insight that the basic STI examination can offer is a better understanding of how certain health conditions or lifestyle factors can impact your STI risk. For example, individuals with weakened immune systems due to conditions like HIV, diabetes, or certain medications may be more susceptible to acquiring or transmitting STIs than those with healthy immune function. Similarly, lifestyle factors such as smoking, excessive alcohol use, or poor nutrition can all impact sexual health and increase the risk of certain infections. The basic STI examination takes these health and lifestyle factors into account when generating your personalized risk assessment and recommendations and can help you understand how to optimize your overall health in ways that can support your sexual well-being. The basic STI examination can also shed light on how certain demographic factors, such as age, gender, and geographic location, can impact STI risk and prevalence. For example, younger individuals, particularly those under the age of 25, are at higher risk for certain STIs like chlamydia and gonorrhea than older adults, due in part to biological factors such as cervical ectopy in young women. Similarly, certain geographic regions may have higher rates of certain STIs than others, depending on factors such as population density, access to health care services, and cultural attitudes toward sexual health. The basic STI examination takes these demographic factors into account when generating your personalized risk assessment and can help you understand how your individual characteristics and circumstances can impact your sexual health needs. Another important insight that the basic STI examination can provide is a better understanding of how STIs can impact fertility and reproductive health. Many people may not realize that certain STIs, particularly those that cause pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, in women, can lead to long-term complications such as infertility, ectopic pregnancy, and chronic pelvic pain. Similarly, untreated STIs in pregnant individuals can lead to serious complications for both the mother and the baby, including preterm delivery, low birth weight, and congenital infections. The basic STI examination takes these reproductive health factors into account when generating your personalized recommendations and can help you understand how to protect your fertility and overall reproductive well-being. One of the most important insights that the basic STI examination can provide is a better understanding of how STIs can impact not just individual health, but also population health and health equity. STIs are not distributed evenly across all populations, and certain groups may be disproportionately affected due to a range of social, economic, and structural factors. For example, in the United States, black and Hispanic individuals have significantly higher rates of STIs like chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis compared to white individuals, even after controlling for individual risk behaviors. This disparity is driven in part by factors such as poverty, lack of access to health care services, and experiences of discrimination and stigma that can create barriers to prevention and treatment. The basic STI examination takes these population health factors into account when generating personalized risk assessments and recommendations, and can help individuals understand how their own experiences and identities may intersect with broader patterns of STI risk and prevalence. By providing a more nuanced and contextual understanding of sexual health, the basic STI examination can help combat stigma and discrimination and promote a more equitable and just approach to STI prevention and care. Another key insight that the basic STI examination can offer is a better understanding of how STIs can impact the economic and social fabric of communities and societies. The direct medical costs of STIs in the United States alone 
are estimated to be over $16 billion per year, and this figure does not include the indirect costs of lost productivity, social stigma, and reduced quality of life for those affected. STIs can also have ripple effects on families and communities, particularly when they lead to long-term complications like infertility or congenital infections that can impact future generations. The basic STI examination can help individuals and communities understand the broader economic and social impacts of STIs and provide guidance on how to advocate for policies and programs that can promote sexual health and well-being for all. This may include efforts to expand access to affordable and confidential STI testing and treatment services, particularly in underserved communities, promote comprehensive sexual health education in schools and other settings, and combat stigma and discrimination through public awareness campaigns and other interventions. Another important insight that the basic STI examination can provide is a better understanding of how STIs intersect with other public health challenges, such as mental health, substance use, and violence. Many people may not realize that experiencing sexual violence or abuse can significantly increase the risk of acquiring STIs, particularly if the abuse involves forced or coerced sexual activity. Similarly, individuals who struggle with mental health conditions like depression or anxiety may be more likely to engage in high-risk sexual behaviors or have difficulty accessing prevention and treatment services. The basic STI examination takes these intersectional factors into account when generating personalized risk assessments and recommendations and can provide guidance on how to address sexual health in the context of other health and social challenges. This may include referrals to mental health or substance use treatment services, as well as resources for survivors of sexual violence and abuse. The basic STI examination can also shed light on the importance of community-based and participatory approaches to sexual health promotion and STI prevention. Many traditional public health interventions have been top-down and provider-driven, with limited input or engagement from the communities most affected by STIs. However, research has shown that community-based and participatory approaches, which involve members of affected communities in the design, implementation, and evaluation of interventions, can be more effective and sustainable in promoting sexual health and reducing STI disparities. The basic STI examination is grounded in a participatory and empowerment-based approach, which seeks to engage individuals and communities as active partners in their own sexual health journey. By providing personalized insights and recommendations based on individual and community needs and preferences, the basic STI examination can help promote a more collaborative and equity-focused approach to sexual health promotion and STI prevention. Another key insight that the basic STI examination can offer is a better understanding of how advances in technology and data science can be leveraged to improve sexual health outcomes and reduce STI disparities. Building on the insights we've explored so far, Let's dive deeper into some of the cutting-edge research and innovations that are shaping the future of sexual health and STI prevention, and how the basic STI examination is positioned to incorporate these advances into its personalized risk assessment and recommendation platform. One of the most exciting areas of research in sexual health is the development of new biomedical interventions for STI prevention, such as vaccines and pre-exposure prophylaxis, PRAP. While there are currently vaccines available for certain STIs like HPV and hepatitis B, researchers are working to develop vaccines for other common STIs like chlamydia, gonorrhea, and herpes. Similarly, PrEP, which involves taking antiretroviral medications to prevent HIV infection, has been shown to be highly effective in reducing HIV transmission among high-risk populations. As these biomedical interventions become more widely available and affordable, they have the potential to significantly reduce the burden of STIs worldwide. The basic STI examination is designed to incorporate the latest research on biomedical interventions into its personalized risk assessment and recommendation algorithms. For example, if a highly effective chlamydia vaccine becomes available in the future, the basic STI examination could recommend that individuals at high risk of chlamydia infection receive the vaccine as part of their preventive care plan. Similarly, if an individual is identified as being at high risk of HIV infection based on their sexual history and behaviors, the basic STI examination could provide information on PrEP and refer them to a health care provider who can prescribe the medication. Another promising area of research in sexual health is the use of genomic and other omics technologies to develop more precise and personalized approaches to STI prevention and treatment. 
Genomics involves the study of an individual's entire genetic makeup, while other omics technologies, such as proteomics and metabolomics, involve the study of an individual's proteins and metabolites, respectively. By analyzing an individual's unique genomic and other omics profiles, researchers may be able to identify specific genetic or biological factors that increase or decrease their risk of acquiring certain STIs, as well as predict their response to different treatments. The basic STI examination is well positioned to incorporate genomic and other omics data into its personalized risk assessment and recommendation algorithms in the future. For example, if research identifies specific genetic variants that are associated with increased susceptibility to chlamydia infection, the basic STI examination could incorporate this information into its risk assessment algorithm and provide more targeted prevention and screening recommendations for individuals with these variants. Similarly, if research identifies specific metabolomic profiles that are associated with poor response to certain STI treatments, the basic STI examination could use this information to recommend alternative treatments that may be more effective for an individual based on their unique metabolomic profile. In addition to biomedical interventions and omics technologies, there is also growing interest in the use of behavioral and social science research to develop more effective and culturally responsive approaches to sexual health promotion and STI prevention. Behavioral science involves the study of how individual and social factors influence health behaviors, while social science involves the study of how social, cultural, and structural factors shape health outcomes and disparities. By understanding the complex interplay of individual social and structural factors that contribute to STI risk and prevalence, Researchers can develop more targeted and effective interventions that address the root causes of sexual health inequities. The basic STI examination is committed to incorporating insights from behavioral and social science research into its personalized risk assessment and recommendation platform. For example, if research identifies specific communication strategies that are more effective in promoting condom use among certain populations, the basic STI examination could incorporate these strategies into its educational resources and risk reduction recommendations. Similarly, if research identifies specific cultural beliefs or practices that may increase STI risk among certain communities, the basic STI examination could provide culturally responsive education and resources to address these beliefs and practices in a sensitive and respectful manner.